Colton Matthews here with JTEC. Today we're going to be removing the input shaft from an Eaton Fuller 10-speed transmission. So to start, you're going to remove these six, these six bolts here on the retention plate. I've already done it for this video. So we slide this plate off, make note of where the oil hole is in the oil return line. Set that off to the side. Wobble out your input shaft. Expose this O-ring here. There's not O-ring, I'm sorry. This um, snap ring. Remove the snap ring now. And you're going to remove the snap ring here. In this case, it's already been removed. Okay. This one on the input shaft. Next, we're going to take our bearing puller. Unscrew the bolt all the way so it'll slide over the input shaft and not flush with the bearing. Perfect. Now you take your two half, half retainers, slide them on, put the retention ring on for the half shells. Once that's installed, you're ready to take a three quarters inch wrench and start moving that square bolt down on the end of your puller. Start to crank that up. A little bit of movement in the transmission at this point is normal. Bearing is loose now. Our bearing in this case is in good condition, so we're going to reinsert that here in just a minute. Next, you have one final snap ring to remove, which holds the input shaft in drive gear. For this you can take it either internal snap ring pullers or in our case a pair of pliers and a couple screwdrivers. Compress the snap ring. This may take a couple tries depending on the quality of your snap ring. Get one end of the snap ring out as soon as you can. And the rest will follow shortly. Once that snap ring is out, you can remove your input shaft, check the quality of the splines going to, into the engine. In this case, they're slightly dented and dinged up. There's a little bit of heat ring damage. And the splines going into the transmission itself look at, in perfect condition. So for this, in this case, we're going to put this directly back into the engine, into the transmission. Take the same snap ring that you just pulled out, unless it warrants replacement. Work one end in and slowly start, well, start to work your way around the snap ring. Once that's in, pull this all the way forward so your drive gear is sitting in the correct position. You're not going to impede on the movement and operation of your shifting clutch. Next, we're going to re reinstall our bearing. So for this, pull it out of your puller tool. Put your 
Pull her in a safe place. Reinstall the external snap ring on your bearing. You can sure your bearing is still spinning true. Slide this back on until you hit resistance on the input shaft. Make sure the input shaft stays forward. And grab your seating tool. Slide it over the input shaft. Slowly start to tap it on. Make sure your bearing is up in position where it needs to go. And start. Make sure you tap it into the right position. Move it out a little bit. Make sure your drive gear is still sitting true. Pour it down again. And one more time. For this, you're basically wanting to make sure you have your snap ring groove exposed. Our snap ring groove is now exposed. So now we'll take our snap ring pullers, get them into the ring, slide the ring over, and reinstall it. You hear it snap into the groove that it belongs in. Once that's on, take your tension cover one more time. Make sure you line up the groove and the hole on the transmission. Slide it back on and reinstall your bolts. That's how you change an input shaft on neat and fuller transmission.